good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid, Kenny. Stupid? Stupid? Nice one, Lee. Look, that guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. What's your genius idea, Professor? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here.
Hey there, Andy. Yeah? You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's a feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. False alarm. I'm back. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Alrighty then. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Alrighty then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Just gonna borrow this for a second.
Hey there, Andy. Yeah? So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Alrighty then. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Alrighty then. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Alrighty then. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Storing gasoline all over the property. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. Thank you. 
How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Just kinda creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever known. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. She died. We met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hop. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. So, y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. I'm too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, ah, oh, son of a fuck. This take forever.
Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. You are wow. an angel. How Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Musty as hell. What the hell? What do they need so much more for? Musty as hell. Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Musty as hell.
happened? Greatest me. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! here my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? We're screwed. Lee? Lee? Ah! Fuck! I'll tear you apart! in time. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and make you swallow them! 
shelves are pretty sturdy. We can climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Come on! Show yourself! Fucking cowards! Dad! Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. There's more of us on the way! Let us out now! Could there be a hole behind these not pallets? Gonna help. No such luck. They're not gonna open the door! They got caught you and Duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Dad! This- Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, Breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. It has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! What? You're fucking worthless, Lee. No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Some place safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. 
If she doesn't, then the hell with her. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Dust? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him, that's all. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off, if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. That way. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Uh, 
Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. That way. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Go quickly. I'm scared. You'll be fine as long as you move fast enough. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Simply in time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares.
Outside the bar. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Mm. Sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect. What's he doing out there? I one don't to keep know. and kill the rest. And I think we're trying to keep him alive. We'll take him out I together. How? I don't know. He doesn't break it out. He's gotta walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can uh, take him out. Let's back his See what he's doing. This now. is my thing. Hey, keep your eye on him. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Lazy. See where he is now? I don't see it anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. <laughs> <laughs>